Hi guys, welcome to Cinema and Grey. My name is Bray, and I am going to be watching and reacting to movies, TV shows, and even anime. Anime is a particular favorite of mine, so there might be quite a bit. Over the next few weeks, we are going to be watching through Psycho Pass Season 1. Episode 1 is all loaded up and ready. Let's get going. You fought rather well, considering your wounds. <clears throat> they must have realized it the moment they first laid eyes on one another. Realized that long before they had ever Dude met, looks creepy. destiny had planned this encounter. They were not two ships passing in the night. They understood each other better than they understood themselves. Their focus was solely reserved for the other. You are Shinya Koga. You are Shogo Okay, I'm gonna have fun remembering these names. Only one I can remember there is Kogami. Yes, I think that's how it's spelled to me. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm making notes. Because there's a lot of names in anime. Now, from what I do remember, it has a little bit of a, um, almost like a little bit of a priority report kind of thing. No, not priority report, minority report thing kind of thing going on. Um, I think. Could have done with uh, an right umbrella. Here. Well, you've got some awful luck to get this assignment your first night on the job. Inspector Akane Sugimori reporting for duty, sir. Pleased to meet you, sir. This is my first day. I know. I'm sorry, but the CID's short on manpower tonight. I don't have time to give you the rookie treatment. Sugimori. Our target's name is Nobuo Okura. A street scanner flagged him during a queue check. He was ordered by a security drone to receive therapy, but he panicked and ran. His recorded psychopath was forced green, so we can expect his aggression and compulsion to be high. Why would okay. someone choose to let their cue get so cloudy over receiving treatment? There's a strong chance he's using incompatible narcotics. Regardless, he's I'm thinking that's probably got something to do with their state of mind and of different colors. Uh, different degrees so of, I say, Blocks corruption. Device, so we can't send in any Instability, that's the word I'm looking for. On top of that, we've got multiple eyewitness accounts stating that Okura took someone captive while fleeing. He's got a hostage? According to the witness reports, it looked to be a woman in her early 20s. We still haven't confirmed her identity yet. The block's been fully evacuated? The city records listed as uninhabited. But it's become a den for the homeless. <laughs> so be prepared. <laughs> Inspector Sunamori. I like the visuals. It's really, it's a really good-looking show. Um, it's not a brand new one, but it's pretty cool. Interesting, it's got a catechus on his back. They're all deeply disturbed. They would normally be completely isolated as latent criminals, but we allow them into the outside world for a single purpose. They're deeply disturbed. Just like themselves. They're nothing more than hunting dogs. The best way to track a beast is with a beast. We call them enforcers. Each one of them is your They're kind of like pack dogs. Attack dogs. You said we were getting a rookie, but you didn't Me think she would be so cute. This is Inspector Akane <laughs> Sunamori, 
From today on, you'll know her as your second owner. Uh, owner. It's a pleasure to meet you. I really do treat them like dogs. Assuming you've already been briefed on the target's data, right? He's backed himself into a corner and we're gonna tighten the noose. We'll split into two groups and zero in. Alright, that dude Isaka looks serious. Kagari, you two are with me. The other two are with Inspector Sue. Roger that. Oh, why do they get the babe and I get stuck with your ugly mug? <laughs> that guy has no sense of humor. Because he knows you weren't joking. I like the colors. It's pretty cool. Cool. Probably one of the, probably one of those ridiculously complicated guns. So uh, what should I do now? You could order us to take a coffee break and sit on our asses. What's up with the dude's hand? Is it like a metal hand or is it a really weird glove? Dominator. Reads the cycle pass mm. the target you're aiming at. The safety's only released when it registers the target as a latent criminal. All you gotta do is follow the dominator's commands. If it says shoot, then shoot. What exactly do they mean by latent criminal? The basic mode is set to paralyze her. As the name implies, it'll only temporarily paralyze the target so we can take him into custody. That's cool. Go on. There's nothing to be scared of. I like the way she picks it up and the finger goes straight to the trigger. Gun safety 101. Don't put your finger on the trigger unless you plan to shoot. You'll get used to that. It's a directional voice. Only you can hear it since you're holding it. Before long, it'll blend right in with your own. I saw a video. Something like that on. Shouldn't we have a meeting, come up with some kind of plan of how we're going to catch this guy? The two of us will hunt for prey, and you'll observe our every move. That's all there is to it. I was thinking something a little more strategic. It's kind of like fox hunting, where they send the dogs out to find the fox. And then the riders just come along. Cloppity, 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 clop. They come and shoot it. You're responsible for us. If you decide that you don't like the way I'm doing things, shoot me with your dominator. What? We're latent criminals too, no different than the target, so paralyze us if you have to. Uh, I didn't I catch the enforcer's names. Name. That stubborn bastard is Shinya Kogami, and this old bastard is Tomomi Masaoka. I'm looking forward Masaoka. to working with you. Sure. Kogami, that was the guy oh, from the beginning. Well then, should we head out? Fuck, I forgot his name already. Masaoka or something. If anybody is watching from Japan ever at any point in time, please forgive me for butchering any of the names. I am terrible. Not bothering anyone and keeping to myself. Then one time, one time a street scanner red flags me and just like that they start treating me like a criminal. It's over for me. There's no coming back from this. Basic employment, marriage, it's all impossible now. I'm fine then. I've restrained myself all this time, and what's the point? I might as well be what they say I am. I might as well just kill anyone I feel like. Please don't. I'll let you in on one thing I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to have sex with a beautiful woman like you. And not just a virtual one, but a flesh and That's pretty fucked up. What the fuck is he doing? Okay, some of these anime can get really, really dark. And pretty fucked up sometimes. What about Kogami? I didn't see which way he... I still rate that's... Like a robot hand or something.
I like how when when the when the gun's talking to her, it kind of makes her eyes glow. I know her eyes aren't glowing; it's just the light of the gun scanning in her eyes, but shining in her eyes, not scanning in her eyes. She looks like a child. It's another thing with these anime. A lot of times, the uh, the if it's a young woman, a young female character, she always seems to be rather tiny. <laughs> Enforce it will. So if you feel like shooting him, and shoot him. They normally do. I've heard some rumors floating around about you. Is it true you were top of the class in your training? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Well, here's a piece of friendly advice. Wipe each and everything you learn there out of your head as quickly as you can. None of that crap's gonna help you on a real case. You probably think that sounds unreasonable, huh? Well, let me tell you, all the time I've spent on this job, I have yet to encounter a single reasonable thing. Everything a person thinks and wishes for. We live in a time when a man's own mind is wide open to anyone with the right He's a grumpy machine. fucker. Despite this universally known fact, there's still plenty of people wanting to deceive or hurt other humans. Now, does that sound reasonable to you? All the theories and logic they filled your head with don't mean squat out here in the field. I doubt it'll take you too long to realize just how pointless your training was. So be prepared to be unprepared. Yeah, that's true. Most of the time when you get training, it's it's quite different. It's quite different in the classroom from the real world. Supposed to paralyze him. I think he just pissed him off. Hockery, what the hell are you doing? The paralyzer didn't work. He's got to be hopped up on stimulants or something. The target's threat judgment Interesting design. New judgment on Overlord. Seems he's overextended his welcome in this world. Elimination? Just because he got flagged by a routine street scan? He probably drove himself into a corner and it just got worse. Nothing will work on him anymore, not even therapy. It's the interesting how the justice system seems to work. I still haven't figured out where this is. It's a damn shame your first case has turned out to be such a nasty one. <laughs> probably Tokyo or somewhere. Look at my psycho Assumption. I didn't even know it could get this cloudy. It looks like somebody covered it in mud. <laughs> hey, take a gander at your psychopath. It almost looks exactly like mine. Okay, so a psychopath is it'll be just as bad for you if they catch us. They'll look state of mind criminal and torture you for mental health. Better wrap this thing up before the hostage passes the point of no return. I haven't quite grasped it yet. Maybe I'm slow, but hopefully I will by the time I get to the end. Young people these days are rarely exposed to severe stress, so they're likely to break down when confronted with violent actions. Yeah, I actually wrote a thesis paper on this subject. Well, let me be the first to tell you it could happen to any one of us. Enforcers, for example. You want to know the reason we became enforcers in the first place? Yeah, there he is. Or she dies. 
coded for him. So I don't see it. I don't see anything good coming of that guy holding it. Probably like one of those booby trap things where it take you out. <laughs> That is pretty fucking messed up. This is town three. Enforcement complete. Using an old man and a rookie as a decoy. You got a pair of codes. I wonder what made him decide that. It could have just they could have just Whatever it could just be it could have just been a bullet, you know. <laughs> Put a bullet through me before he'd be dead. But Hell. Okay, it literally here. swells up and pop, pop. She's a bit, um, she's a bit fried. But surely if they look, if they take her in, give her some counselling, it'll bring that right down again and she won't be dangerous. I mean, I don't think she's dangerous at all, but it looks like these guys don't seem to agree with me. Oh, okay, I thought, I thought he was gonna, like, make her go again like the other guy. The city system itself has determined this woman is a threat to society. Think about what that means. Sybil. You're just perfectly fine with shooting an innocent woman? I refuse to accept that right. Alright, it's kind of like the Red Queen in Resident Evil where she's like the, the brains and nerves and everything. She looks like somebody I know. I'm sure she'll be pleased to hear that she looks like an anime character. That look is like... Bitch. Why you do that to me? That's oh crap. You've got to put the lighter down. Because if you don't, then I can't stop this gun from killing you. Please. I only want to help you. Check, you're like in the middle of a, pi a pool of fuel. I put the... Oh, here we go. That could have gone so much worse. Don't stress, he paralyzed her, she'll be fine. I want a thorough explanation of your actions. I expect a detailed report first thing in the morning. Good grief. Where the hell do they find this book? He's talking about a piece of work.
Okay, so far, from what I can tell from the first episode, is that the police force has some means of measuring a person's psycho pass, which, from what I can tell, is a person's state of mind and the level of danger they present to society as a whole. It seems that they grade the psychopaths in different colors for different levels and the inspectors are in charge of what they call enforcers which is like people with a dodgy psychopath but still under the police control so um, that's pretty much what I've managed to ascertain so far that um, they can either administer a non-lethal which is just like a paralysis shot or a rather grotesque fatal shot so the characters that I've we've met so far of any sort of um, importance is Inspector Sunamori, whose first name I can't quite remember. It's O O something Sunamori, um, and two enforcers so far have been Masawuka and Kogami. Now Kogami, for some reason, we saw him like right at the beginning of the episode with a bit of a a cold open um i have no idea what that is about so far so we're gonna f hopefully we'll find out some more in the next episode or during the course of this season If you like this video then please feel free to hit the like button, follow the channel and keep an eye out for future episodes. As every like and follow helps me with the algorithm, it helps the algorithm find my page and helps bring my page to more people who may have similar interests to myself and yourself. Thank you for watching and keep your eyes open for the next episode. Ciao.